Hello, it's Dr. Darnese coming at you with another uh, late night moment of inspiration that I wanted to share with you. And um, this one I guess I'm calling, What If? What if your life could be all that you really have anticipated it being? What if you could have, you could really have what you want in life? You know, a lot of people come to talk to me because they um, are at a crisis, they're at a crossroads, I think that's a better word for it, a crossroads in life. And they don't know what to make of what's going on anymore. You know, they are people of a certain faith or people of a certain, um, maybe even just expectation about where they thought they would be in life and they're wondering why things have not seemed to go the way that they planned. And so they're looking for some help. They're looking for a way of understanding what life is about, and more specifically what their life is about. And it's not that, you know, I'm a psychic or something, but I do have a gift for helping people look at their lives and see the manifestation that their life represents, actually. Because you can tell a lot about a person by the things that are going on in their lives. Um, you know, I always say thoughts are things. I'm not the only one, of course, but I certainly agree thoughts are things and that we are always manifesting. We are always manifesting according to our belief system. Maybe, you know, you're familiar with it in terms of the biblical text. It is done unto you as you believe, and it really is. So when I look at someone's life, they come to me, they talk to me about what's going on in their lives, and I can say, well, here are the thoughts that you have. Because the things that you're experiencing are a match to the way that you've been thinking. So a lot of times people will say, well, I wasn't thinking about a car accident. I haven't been thinking about losing my job or I haven't been thinking about any of these negative things. But in fact, you don't have to think about those specific negative things. What is happening is you have been thinking about negative things in general or you have been feeling very badly in a very general way. You've been feeling uh, like a victim. You've been feeling like things are happening to you out of, out of your control, um, by happenstance, bad luck. You just don't understand why one thing keeps happening after another. And it starts to burden you and you feel bad, you feel low, you feel depressed. And what starts to happen is you start to attract other things on that same vibrational level. So I always say, you know, problem is on one level, solution is on another level. And if you think about and talk about your problems, you can't get to the solution because this is where you dwell. This is where you live. Solution is here. And when you dwell here on the level of your problem, you find other problematic things coming your way. Things that you would not have been thinking about, such as an accident, falling down the steps, losing your job, um, you know, your child becoming difficult, relationship issues, what you want is the solution that's up here. And you think by thinking about the problem that you're somehow going to catapult up here. That's not actually how it works. You've got to get yourself from feeling as bad as, as this level to the point where you can be an equivalent to where the solutions are. Okay, so that, that's what I help people do get up here where the solutions are so what if you could um, have clarity uh, have purpose what if you really felt like you know what I, I for once in my life I feel like what's I feel like I know what's going on I feel like I have some power I feel like I have some control over what's going on in my world things don't just happen to me I actually am a deliberate creator I don't allow things to just happen to me. When they do, I take it as a lesson. I go, oh, that thing seemed like it just happened to me and it was a negative thing and I don't like it. I certainly don't want any more of it. Okay, that's the time when you know you've got to change your thinking. You have been entertaining a thought 
that allowed for that thing or that circumstance to come your way into your experience. So what I help people do is become more conscious about how, in fact, how often they allow themselves to be on the level of problem when they really want to be on the level of solution because it's unconscious for most of us. It really is. And unless you have someone pointing out to you that this is where you're dwelling, you might even think that you're up here. You think that you're up here because of course you wouldn't want, let's say, uh, a job loss. But you might have been thinking about, wow, I wish I had a better job. Wow, I really hate this job I have now. Wow, this job sucks. Wow, I hate going on Monday morning. Wow, I, I dislike all the people I work with. This job doesn't pay me enough. And you're thinking about those things all the time. So guess what happens? Job goes away. And then we panic. What? What am I supposed to do? We're trying to get to the level of solution. It's not here. It's up here. Something's got to give, right? So what I do is help people recognize, as I said at the beginning of this video, how to look at your life in terms of manifestation. How is my life revealing to me what's really going on with me? Your life is not made up of, of uh, circumstances or or happenstance, I should say. It's not random. It's very much a reflection of who you are and where you are. So, you know, sometimes I get some questions about, well, Dr. Darnese, what exactly would, could I expect from working with you, from talking to you? And, and that's kind of it. So if you feel like you're at a cross crossroads, you feel like you're having a crisis, you feel like a lot of things are going kind of haywire, and you're at a point in life where you're just kind of tired of it, and you're seeking some solutions, you know, help me get a handle on things. How do I even know if I'm on the right path? You know, is there a God? Is God paying attention to me? I mean, is life supposed to be this difficult? And if you have those kind of questions, then that's where I come in. Because I'm able to point out to you, God or universe or, you know, whatever name you're working with really is present in your life. And you know it when you begin to see the pattern when you begin to recognize that there's a pattern going on, you begin to see just how present God is for you. Because God is showing you yourself all day long, every day. But if you don't have eyes to see or ears to hear, you will think that you are left alone. You will think that you have no power over anything. I can show you that indeed you do. Indeed you do. Uh, all is consciousness really. And when you get that, you begin to see things much clearer. Well, that's just another little note for me. Um, as I said, I get inspired sometimes late in the evening and I just wanna share based upon either just an inspiration or just something that people have said to me over the course of the day. And I think that it can have some widespread appeal. So I bring it to you uh, for you to think about, to give you some clarity, both in terms of what you do and in terms of what I do so you know how I can help you. Um, if the need arises that way. So thanks again for listening and I'll be back here with another video, another bit of inspiration or motivation or inspiration, however you like to think of it. I'll be back soon.